Hi, kings and queens. Um, I wanted to come on here and talk about a couple of, of real quick uh, vision dreams that I had. Um, uh, one of them was about a week ago. Um, yeah, actually, let's let's start with one that was about two or about two or three weeks ago. Today is the fourteenth. Uh, Yes, today's the 14th, um, January 14th of, of 19, so uh, this would have been, this first one would have been probably like late December, early January, um, and it was just a quick, uh, just a quick kind of a vision uh, thing, um, and I actually forgot about this quick vision dream. Um, until I was watching YouTube and I something sparked my memory um, and I, I knew for and I was gonna do a video on it I just procrastinated it and I didn't get it done but uh, I um, I uh, I forgot so uh, in seeing this video it, it sparked my memory uh, and said yeah I, I need to probably talk about that there may be some maybe some prophecy to that um, and uh, you know obviously since I hadn't forgot it um, and you know, I always pray before, and if God tells me no, then then the answer is no. Um, but um, oh, my hair's a mess. But um, He didn't. So um, in the name of Jesus Christ, I, I, I come um, and, and I share a uh, a flash. It was a dream, but my dreams are always like flash visions. I never get detailed long dreams. It's every once in a while. Um, and those are powerful, like the ones I've shared before, but most of it is just like a five-second clip of memory, maybe a, a five-second clip and then a two-second clip of memory, and then that's usually all I get of my dreams. They're just more like flash visions. Uh, these people who can, who can remember their dreams and the color of this fence and, and what the grass looked like when they were walking over here, I'm, I, congrats, I can't, <laughs> but... Um, Anyway, this is the dream. Uh, enough of me rambling. Uh, uh, the dream was this, uh, and this was the one about two or three weeks ago. Um, um, it was, uh, I live here in the United States, so, um, you know, the United States of America. And, uh, and the dream was, uh, what I remember of the flash dream was white UN tanks like army armored tanks you know battle tanks with with the cannon and uh, um, and there were and I don't know the significance of this part but they were gathered around the water fountain like a like a brick water fountain uh, the water fountain I don't know it was probably I'm in America so 20 foot in diameter maybe uh, but there were maybe maybe 50 up, up to about 50 because there was quite a few army tanks surrounding this thing, and uh, I don't think they were taking aim at the water fountain, but they were just gathered around the water fountain. I don't know why. I don't know what significance that is. Maybe the fountain may maybe re reference to you know Jesus Christ and 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 and, and the bride. I, I don't know, but these UN tanks were uh, surrounding this fountain. It wasn't a big old Roman fountain. It was actually pretty modern, I guess, kind of. Um, but I don't really remember a whole lot of details about it other than it was pretty new of a fountain. Um, but they were white UN tanks here on American soil. You know, they were army tanks, you know, um, battle tanks, you know, with the cannon, with, the, you know, everything. So, um, and I couldn't remember how many. There's probably maybe... 10, 12, 15, I don't know, really. I, that, that's just a guess at this point. But there wasn't, it wasn't as far as the eye could see, but it also at the same time, you know, it wasn't just one or two. It was, you know, probably in the teens or something like that. <clears throat> and I remember looking up, I was like, I don't know, like 50, 100 foot away maybe, yeah, about 100 foot on top of this building, and the building was maybe, I don't know, <clears throat> 10 stories or something if that, you know, 8 or 10 stories. And I was looking down at them. I was looking down at these army tanks. Um, and it seemed like there was a couple of us, maybe like two or three of us. Um, 
I, I don't know who or, or what, but you know, uh, we were looking down at these things and that's pretty much all I remember of this dream. Um, uh, like I said, this was about three weeks ago, so uh, last part of December, probably early January. Um, maybe not three weeks, about two weeks ago. Um, and then the one I just had about a week ago, uh, there were several parts to it, but I, I don't think I'm supposed to share all of those parts, but I will share the part that um, kind of shown insignificance to me. And this dream, the one I had about a week ago, um, I recorded it with these other with these other elements and other um, other dreams, but I was told pretty much to delete it, so I deleted it. So I don't think I'm supposed to share the whole dream, but I think I can share the first part um, because the the last part the last dream didn't make much sense anyway. Um, but uh, the dream that um, I believe that I've been given the okay to uh, share. Um, is this um, uh, it was a uh, just a regular ordinary day probably spring I don't know spring maybe and um, um, in this dream um, I was just in this like a suburban house and I, I don't know why I've never really lived, lived in a suburban house you know I've usually you know anyways that's not important but um, usually it seems like some of my dreams are in a suburban house. I, I don't know why, uh, but, uh, just a one, one story suburban house, maybe a flat, you know, two, two or three bedroom, if that maybe. Um, but, uh, I felt in my heart that something biblical was happening. Like, like something, uh, something was biblical getting ready to happen. Not globally, not like a catastrophe or anything like that. But you know, I was going to be visited, uh, you know, by by angels um, in this dream. I, that was downloaded to my heart, and sure enough, as soon as that was downloaded to my heart, I can't understand. I can't really explain it except that it was, you know, it was known to me. It was made known to me that you're going to be visited by angels. Um, and uh, in this dream. Um, which I guess I remember a little bit more than normal, so that's it's, it's coming back a little bit. But um, in this dream, um, uh, there were two angels, and I, I, I'm not hung up on color. If you've seen my last video a couple of days ago, I'm comfortable with the fact that Jesus was a brown-skinned man. I, you know, I don't care. Um, it doesn't matter to me. He's worthy to be worshipped. The color of his skin doesn't matter. But in this dream, there was a uh, a brown skinned angel. Actually, he was more more black. He was dark, pretty dark angel. Um, and then there was a white angel um, with with the curly hair, like the the uh, the typical uh, <clears throat> the typical one that you've seen drawn and things like that, uh, or or depicted. Um, and I have no doubt in my mind that they were both real angels, absolutely. Um, but uh, the 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 the, uh, the whiter skin one, or the you know the the Caucasian one, or I guess you'd call it Caucasian, um, he stood at the corner of this um, of of my house, I guess was mine because you know they uh, they visited me in this in this house, and I uh, um, and the white or the the lighter skin one the white guy the white angel was kind of garden like at the corner of my house not garden from me or anything but just garden from the rest of the neighborhood as like uh, providing a protection for me and this other um uh, this other angel because this other angel which the one that came up to me was the darker skinned one uh the, the black one and um um and uh uh you know, this angel that I was speaking with, the, the darker skinned one, um, he was, uh, I had the feeling that maybe he was going to put me through like a, 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 a purity test of my heart or something, uh, you know, to see if I was pure and, and that and, and everything. And, and, uh, like I said, all, all the while we're, we're talking, uh, me and this angel are talking, you know, the, the one with the blonde curly hair standing kind of garden at the corner of the house, you know, watching just garden. I, I don't know what the significance of that is, but, uh, this angel, well, this dream actually, or this this video is becoming actually long, so I'm gonna try and kind of wrap it up as fast as I can without too much rambling. Um, it's hard not to do because I love the Lord my God, you know, Son of God Most High, Jesus Christ. 
Um, I, I love Jesus, so I'm going to try to try to try to make this a little shorter. Um, but uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm speaking with this angel, and uh, this angel, um, is, is, you know, some kind of festivity or something's going on uh, that we would celebrate here in America or globally. I don't know, but. Uh, some festivity is going on, uh, and like I said, it wasn't winter, so it's not like Christmas or anything like that. But it was, it was some festivity, like maybe Independence Day or, or something like that. I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not putting a time frame or a date or anything on anything. But, you know, uh, and this angel was asking me, you know, oh, don't you want to have fun and join the festivities and and, and enjoy things, enjoy the the stuff that 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 we have that there is to offer and everything, and 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 join these things. And I'm like. No, not really. A, you know, I, I don't. I don't partake in, you know, pagan holidays and things like that anymore. I, I don't. You know, I know that these roots are are actually a blasphemy to God, and I don't partake in these things anymore. I follow Jesus Christ, the Son of God Most High. Um, and when I said this to this angel, this angel um, pulled out a. Um, uh, um, what I can only describe as a is a is a giant giant ring like like a wedding ring and he, he put it on my ring finger this this is actually my left hand although it might look superimposed since you're upside down and backwards but um, this is actually my left hand so this would be my ring my wedding finger he actually put this and this ring that he gave me was actually really large like that it was large I mean the the inside ring was pretty small you know it, it fit about right but it the whole thing was the girth. I mean, it was big. So it, you know, he, he put this thing on my finger like this and on my wedding finger. Uh, and, and I don't know, it, it appeared to be gold, but I, you know, I didn't pay much attention to what the texture was. I just, it was more of the symbolism to me than more of what it actually looked like. I didn't really, I think it was gold, but I don't know for sure. Um, but it fit. I mean, and this thing was huge, but it, it fit somehow. It was weird, but it, but it was big, but it fit. Um, and he gave this to me, and then that was the end of that vision uh, or dream. Um, and then not too long later, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to share this part. I don't think I am. So, so that's so that's uh, um, so that's really it. Um, uh, and, and that was, you know, that was. There's actually a lot more detail in there than I thought there would be because it's kind of coming back a little bit and and everything, but. Uh, guys, it's it's important that uh, we don't just look for these uh, these dreams and visions. We also li listen to the teachings of people uh, because you're not going to hear everything in these dreams and visions uh, like I'm giving you. It's very important that you also listen to teachings and, and do your own research um, and uh, um, <clears throat> you know and develop that relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, and this is going to help you do that. This isn't the absolute endless answer, but this is, you know, 50%, 40%. And then, you know, that personal relationship with Jesus Christ is the rest. That, that's really all you need. That's it. If you have faith and you believe without doubt, then that's all you really need. So um, uh, it's important that we don't look to, for these visions and dreams of other people to get our salvation from. It's good to get encouragement from these but also the you know the teachings like I put out a video earlier. Well, I recorded it a couple of days ago, but I downloaded it earlier today. Um, um, you know, explaining like something that was very important that Jesus put on my heart, and and in this video, you know, I'm I'm, I'm it's important that you watch it. I'm just going to put it there. Uh, it was actually earlier today, so it'd be and I'm going to try and upload this today as well. But um, um, so. It's important that we don't take everything from these visions and dreams and, and base our salvation solely on that. Um, and it's also important that we take these things to the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God Most High, for He is holy, 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 and righteous to be called the Son of God Most High. Um, it's important that we take these things uh, to Him in prayer and discernment. Say, give me discernment. I don't want to follow false leads, false teachings. Absolutely, I do it. So I don't expect you not to do it with me, you know. Uh, it, it's hard to, you know, you just got to have that discerning heart. Ask God, ask God, Jesus, please forgive my sins and give me a discerning heart so I know truth from false and, and truth doctrine and, and true and, and true prophets and true visions. I'm not calling myself really a prophet, but in true visions and, and, and information, you know, 
uh, make sure that you give me a discerning heart so I don't follow a false doctrine because ultimately I want to follow you, Jesus. And that's where we need to be. No matter the cost, we need to follow exactly what Jesus says. Okay? No matter the cost. So it's important that you go and watch my video from earlier today. There's some really important things in there, guys, and gals, I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, be ready um, because you may get tested. Uh, and it may be an angel. You don't know that. You know, in my dream, I knew that that's who they were, but you may not know that in real life. That's why you treat everyone as if they're an angel, as if they're a child of God, because they are. And they are hungry and they thirst for these words of knowledge and these words of truth that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And, and tell them the good news of what happened, how he was crucified for their sins and yours. And he rose on the third day to fulfill prophecy and took all of that for us. And there's good, blessed hope in there. Um, people thirst for these words. And people, if you, I find if you do something nice for people, unexpected, like, like shovel snow, or, uh, and they come out to pay you, say, no, 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 give glory to God. God sent me, said you needed help, you know, bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. And then, and then, you know, feed them with a little bit of that, you know, our blessed hope is Jesus Christ, give glory to him. Because in my flesh, I wouldn't have done this. You don't have to go that far. But, um, you know, in my flesh, I wouldn't have done this. It's cold. I wouldn't be out here. But Jesus has called me to to minister and, and to help our, one another and spread the good word. And that's a good way to do it. If you do something charitable and, and unexpected like that, people are going to, it's going to shock them. And, and they're it's going to wake people up if they're backslidden or never knew Jesus or backslidden, lukewarm, just kind of half in, half out. This is going to, this might be what they need. So, all right, I'm, I'm getting a little longer than I wanted to, so I'm going to cut it short. But guys, just, just don't miss those opportunities. Don't, don't go past the homeless guy because you're running late for church. That was never intended to be the purpose of church. The purpose of church is within us as we minister to each other. The purpose, the church could be two or three people gathered speaking of Jesus and how, how blessed he is and giving worship and thanks. Okay, so don't pass homeless people or don't pass, don't pass the old lady that needs help. Don't pass this person because, don't speed past them because you're late for church. Then you've missed the entire meaning of Jesus' message to us. You've missed the entire meaning. It's important that we slow down just a little bit and find that, find that within us, Jesus, help me minister to your people in your, in your grace and your glory because I'm, I'm flat. I, you know, I, only thing I know is sin. You are the only good thing in my life. You've cured me. You've you come into my heart and, and let me minister to your people. You know, it's important that we do that. Um, so, uh, uh, Pray for our brothers and sisters, you know, pray for those who are lost instead of scourging them and say, look at them, I'm glad I'm not like that. Instead of doing that, pray for them. First pray for yourself to make sure you're spot free. Like Jesus said, make sure the plank's out of your own eye before you investigate and, and, and attempt to help your brother with a splinter in his own eye. And that makes perfect sense. Make sure you are right with God, you know, in the name of Jesus Christ, and then you can pray for them and bless them because that's what we need to be doing, guys. Uh, and gals. Um, so um, I'm going to cut it off now. Um, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless you guys. Um, I'm happy to see you again. Please watch my other video and share it. Share it. It's very important that people hear this. This is going to get a lot. The video I shared is so important. I'm not even going to put anything about it. Please watch it and share it. You don't have to if you don't find it. If you don't find it, if you don't agree with it, or if you bring it to the Lord Jesus Christ and it doesn't, he doesn't, he tells you it's not worthy, then that's okay. You listen to the word of Jesus Christ over me any day. Okay. So, but. It, those words were that I, that were in the other the video from earlier are from Jesus. I mean, I he downloaded that to me, and, and that's and, and that's just kind of where I'm gonna leave it. But watch it, share it if you like it. Uh, also, give this a like, a thumbs up, um, share, subscribe if you want. Um, um, the more people that we can save before the catching away, which is so close. I mean, the wedding with that dream, guys. I mean, I've never really had anything like that to symbolize to symbolize wed. So, guys. <laughs> It's so close. Have that blessed hope. Jesus Christ is the Son of God Most High, for He is holy and worthy to be called the Son of God. Forgive us of our sins, Jesus Christ. Forgive me of my sins and iniquity. Bless your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. God, you are holy, 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 and worthy. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you guys. Peace and love and compassion and mercy in the name of Jesus Christ, our King.